that he wanted to pursue so badly. He was just like you, thinking about achieving great things in his life. He wanted to become a great professional so that he can earn money for his family so that he can uh, solve their financial problems. In India, in general, parents have great expectations from their children. They want their child to become the next generation, next level person. And that is not possible for everyone. His parents wanted him to score more than 90% in his board examinations. And even after being a bright child, he could not do that. So what happened? Even uh, when he didn't score that much, what happened was that his teachers dismissed him saying that, saying that he was a waste of potential. His friends quoted him a failure. His parents were worried to him, what is he going to do? How is he going to achieve anything in his life? But he did not give up. And here, seven years later, that boy is standing in front of you talking about success and failure. Yes, I am that boy. Ever since I was growing up, I watched legends like Sachin Tendulkar and Dr. David Jabdulkar. How could I have ever given up when these people taught me that consistency and determination can lead you to your goal? In fact, they taught me the greatest lesson that I have ever done in my life. That is, people do not fail when they lose the battle. They fail when they give up. And I was not going to give up at all. India has always had a rich history with success and greatness. People like M.S. Moni, Sadoshi Naidu, C.D. Raman, Dr. B. R. B. R. B. R. have done great stuff for our nation. They have done great things for us. And think about it. Just think about it. They were limited by the technology and the resources of their time. Even after that, how would they have to be so that they can do such things for our nation? Compared to them, we live in an India that is totally unprecedented. We live in an India that has the largest payment gateway of the world, known as UPI. We have more than 105 uniform companies in our nation today. In fact, we are the third largest startup ecosystem in the world. People like you, people like me, we are going to change the world. Given the resources and the technology that we have at our hand, India is going to change the world. You all are going to change the world. Now, many of you are like, I can't even change my grades. How am I going to change the world? Come on. So allow me to shed a little light on that. There are basically three reasons why you cannot change your grades, your skills and your abilities. Number one, you think that you're not good enough. Let me uh, explain it to you by giving you an example. Have you ever noticed that like, sometimes it happens, you think about an answer, like teacher asks you a question, and you know the answer to that question, but you are hesitant to raise your hand. And you think, ah, yeah, many are coming there, and I'm not sure about it, you probably do not. But that time you realize, no, that you're not wrong, that your answer was correct. Only to find out later that you were not confident enough. What if your teacher tells you today that I'm going to take your surprise test? Your first reaction would be, yeah, surprise test is there, Amir. Because you are not prepared, you feel deep down that I'm not ready for this challenge. Number two, humans are hard in a way that we always seek comfort. We think that we should always be in a place where everything is within our comfort zone. The problem with comfort is that it limits you. It limits your ability to change things. It limits your ability to go beyond your limits. Whenever you reach a challenge, you think, uh, I should not do it, I should not go towards it, I should rather skip it. In fact, our mind takes us into thinking that we cannot make it, that we cannot do it, and we end up believing that subconsciously. Number three, we humans are a creature of habits. Everything we do in our daily life is driven by the habits that we have developed over the years. For example, for the first time that we ever went to the water cooler to drink water, you must have thought, how should I go about it? Should I take a cup or should I simply use my hand to drink the water? And you would have realized after a certain point of time, like 5 years, 10 years down the day, you don't even have to think about it. Everything comes naturally to you. You just go there and you drink it. That is what you do, right? So, we as humans, our decisions are driven by the things, by the habits that we have developed over the years. Now, I've talked about different kind of things that are the value between you and your successful self. Now I'd like to talk about what are the different things to the help of which you can overcome these barriers and be successful. Number one, you need to break your 
your goals, your problems into smaller pieces. So if I ask you what is the value of 1 plus 3 plus 2, you can easily tell me that's it, right? But if I ask you what is the value of 297 into 356, you will need a pen and a paper to do that. And the reason is that, that for the complex problems and the bigger problems, you need to break them down into smaller pieces before you can solve them. So, what happens is that whenever you talk about uh, solving complex problems in life or uh, going through with our plans to do something in life, we need to break it down into smaller pieces. We need to break it down so that we can actually do things. For example, let's say that you are supposed to go into a building that has three floors and has no level. You cannot straight away jump from ground floor to the third floor. You need to take one step at a time so that you can reach that goal where you want it to go. Same is with life. You cannot achieve your end goal just by putting in efforts today. You need to do that daily on a regular basis for the next years. Which brings us to our second point. That is, be consistent. Consistency is the most underrated skill in the world. No matter where you go, consistency is the key to the success. You must have noticed how often that uh, the students who have scored great marks in your class are treated differently than the rest of the people. Whenever there is a problem, they are the first kind of people who are called upon for any sort of assistance. Why does this happen? It happens because they are consistent with their results. And how are they consistent? Like, they also have family functions to attend. They also want to play football or cricket in the evening. But they choose to work consistently over a longer period of time throughout the year so that they can reach their academic goals, which people generally do not. In fact, these are the sole same students who end up clearing papers like IIT, JE, and D, and end up bagging packages like that of one year, totally unreal. But more often than not, we think that it is their marks that fetch them these perks and benefits, which is not true. The reality behind it is that the main thing that fetches them these benefits is their consistency. Success, pain, money, and grades all are a mere byproduct of consistency. If you can be consistent, then you can achieve anything in your life. Let me give you an example. Think about it. Imagine that you are going to work five years consistently, twice as hard as everyone else in the room. Where will you be at the end of five years? Your competitors, who today are just as equal as you are, would be nowhere near to you in the next five years. No matter what kind of training, hard work, or efforts they put in, they won't be able to reach one tenth of who and what you become. Which brings us to our third point. Always be your first admirer and your first. If you want to achieve your goal in life, you need to refine yourself day after day. You need to improve at the slightest opportunity given at hand. But you must also tell yourself that you have done good. You must also appreciate for what you have achieved and for what you already have. What is the first thing that you do when you achieve something in your life? When you get something that you wish for? I don't know about you, but if you ask me, I'll tell you that the first thing that I do is to appreciate myself. I tell myself, good job, Akshay. You have finally achieved the milestone that you have been working for. So that's something that is extremely important if we want to have a sense of satisfaction in our life, if we want to improve. Now comes the second part. After I told myself that I did good, I try to find my mistakes. I try to find what exactly I've done wrong so that I can improve on it day by day. This makes me a better person down the way. Like over the years, I've optimized myself by understanding what I did wrong and how would I have achieved this milestone in a much faster and in a much quicker way. So what happens that next time when this similar opportunity shows up, I do know how am I going to do this, how am I going to get to this result in the fastest way possible. Now we have talked about the three different things that helps us to overcome these barriers that helps us to become successful. Now it is, it is time for us to understand what separates great people from successful people. There are two things that every successful person needs to do in order to become great. Number one is consistently, uh, he needs to be consistently successful over a long period of time. In India, Bharat Ratna is considered the highest civilian award that is awarded to people who have displayed great service of performance over the years for a longer period of time. Sachin Tendulkar is one of them. Sachin Tendulkar received this prestigious award in the year 2014 when he retired in the year 2013. He had
had to stay 24 years of consistent good figure and he ended up being the highest run scorer in the world in both ODI format and test format in history. Number two, you need to add value to the people around you. You need to add value to their life. So, uh, when we talk about great people, there is something about them. They have impacted in our life one way or another. Right? One such person is C.V. Ram. C.V. Ram received his Nobel Peace Prize in the year 1913 physics for the Raman effect. The Raman effect is one of the most famous discoveries of physics. It helps us to understand why the sky is blue, why the sky is red during sunset and during sunrise, and why the water is blue. These are the two things that make successful people great. And that is what that makes people great. Now, go change the world. Thank you.